Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will show you how you can leverage the solve function present in Z3 to find an assignment of values to the variables PQR in this case, so, such a way that this expression is true. Meaning if you plug three gives you, you will be able to evaluate this and conclude that this expression is true. Okay, that's basically the assignment problem. Um, how do we do that? Uh, we can codify it using Z3 as follows. This expression means um, not P and Q implies P and Q or uh, not or okay so i'm using and not or all of those logic functions as part of z3 and the solve is also part of z3 so z3 is now trying to solve our formula so to speak and come up with assignments to the variables that we have made it symbolic pqr okay let's try that with, with um, z3 so i will run it and it's it is giving us an assignment p to be false q to be false or to be true we can convince ourselves that's the case let's look at it look at it very quickly if p is false and q is false Okay, if Q is false, the left-hand side is false, right? Because it's an understatement here. Since P is also false, this whole thing is false. False implies false is true. That's it. So Sol was able to come up with assignments for these variables, such a way that the expression is true. This is the foundation for many of the program analysis and security analysis work. But what we are discussing is the core of Z3 from a proportional logic perspective. Thank you. That's all.